All right. So our next presenter is a longtime friend of mine, longtime brother, and just an amazing guy, and Dave Whitley. So Dave, the Iron Tamer Whitley. And Dave is going to do some very cool things. He's going to do some physical feats, but he's also going to play some music as well. Because most of you might not know this, and Dave's going to introduce that as, as we go or whatever, that Dave actually was a professional musician and professional guitarist. So he's actually going to play one of Noah's favorite songs on the guitar. And uh, he's going to bend some steel. And he actually has, a, I, and him and Wyatt Lozano have done something very cool here. And we have some other projects we'll be talking about in a few minutes. People who have donated things. Um, they, Dave has a book called Superhuman You. He's going to offer to everybody who donates. And Wyatt's going to offer some merchandise for somebody, to everybody who donates. Um, you'll listen to Dave talk about this. But I actually had the opportunity to, Dave was the first guy um, well, not Dave was the first guy. I happened to be the first person to hand Dave Whitley a piece of steel to bend. And Dave then took that on and became a professional strongman and now is the head of Old Time Strongman University and has performed all over the world and become just phenomenal about that particular thing and a longtime friend. And, you know, we just have that very special thing. And, um, you know, uh, I'm not going to talk a lot more. I'm just going to let Dave talk to you. But Dave's a really cool guy, and you can see. Hey everybody, my name is Iron Tamer Dave Whitley. I'm a performing strongman. I've been friends with Bud Jeffries and Heather Jeffries for many, many years. And like everyone, was saddened by the loss of Noah a few years ago. He was a phenomenal young man and I'm thankful to have known him and had him be a part of my life, even though he was only I was only around him for a couple of times for very short periods of time. Um, I wanted to make this offer for you guys today. This is a book that I wrote a few years ago called Superhuman You. Um, I give this book away on the internet. I'll ask you that you pay shipping at superhumanubook.com. So what I'd like to extend to you guys is if you want me to send you a signed copy of it, which I don't normally do um, for free, but if you want me to send you a signed copy of it, whenever you make a donation to Noah's Army, go to superhumanubook.com, get your free copy. All I ask again is that you pay shipping and handling and email me the receipt or of the amount that you donated and I will sign it and I'll also throw a 60 penny nail in for you that I bent myself by hand um, just to show my appreciation for what you're doing. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you and God bless. Hey everybody, quick story. For you. Um, several years ago, I think Noah was probably 15 or 16 years old. He and Bud were out on the road and they stopped off passing through my hometown, Nashville, Tennessee. Stopped off and we had lunch, got together, hung out for a while. And Noah had been working on bending with an overhand technique, which was a new thing for him. Um, he's a very good underhand bender, but didn't quite have an understanding of overhand bending technique um, well enough to be able to do anything very uh, very stout, if you will. Um, Bud is a fantastic steel bender and a phenomenal strong man, but doesn't do the overhand bending. Um, and so Bud asked me if I would have a look at Noah's overhand technique and see if I could find any anything that we could make some improvements on. So I did, and we did, and he did, and Went, he went on to bend some really, really incredibly difficult things, especially for someone at such a young age. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 60-penny nail here and dedicate it to Noah. Thank you, my friend. I wish that we had had more time together. You may not know this about me, but I used to be a professional guitar player. Now, I haven't played seriously in a long time. I'm out of practice. I'm rusty. Um, but I did want to take an opportunity to break it out here today because, regrettably, I never got an opportunity to jam with Noah. But I think that if I had had that opportunity, then we probably would have had a great time going after it on this particular song. <laughs> 